Hello, hello. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another video. Another video of me talking on a subject and, well, I'm glad that we have been able to make it this far and want to thank everyone for their support out there and continuing to tune in when you have the time. And if you have some time today, I wanted to make another video, a couple of them, on two further thoughts that have been in my mind for so long now. Just, you know, thoughts about life and, well, for this video. This video is about making a decision. You know, in all of our lives, we make a lot of decisions. Some of those decisions might be, how am I going to spend my day, or what t-shirt do I want, or what kind of job do I want to pursue. And sometimes, the decision that we can be faced with is a decision to say either yes or no. And in this video, I just wanted to talk about the decision of saying no. You know, I, I think in the world that we live in, it is true that all of us have our faults and nobody's perfect, and because we live in a world like that where, you know, everyone has their talents, but also everyone has their faults, there are going to be times when we are tempted or asked to do something. And, you know, so, I mean, people can have some good ideas that are worth saying yes to. Ideas to maybe join a, a club of a similar interest, or maybe go out to the amusement park and have a good time, or go bowling together. You know, there are good ideas that people can present to us. But then there can be times when we are presented with bad ideas, destructive ideas, and it is important to know when to say no, and it's also important to have the courage to say no. Because really, if we were to say yes to everything that is requested of us, then what can happen is we can be burned out, you know, from saying yes to everything and we lose our energy. And other times we can be asked to join in on something that is harmful and destructive. And, you know, with some things that we are asked to participate in, just one bad decision can really cost us for the rest of our lives, and it can affect someone else's life as well. You know, it's, it's important to have the courage to say no, and to know how to get out of a situation that could harm us. For, for this video, and actually for the, the other video I'm about to make, both of these stories for these videos actually take place in two different bowling alleys. And for the story I wanted to share here, this goes back to, oh, maybe 2015 or 16 when I was in my early 20s. And at that time, when I was in college, I was able to find the time 
every now and then on either a Monday night or Wednesday night at the bowling alley that is near me in Cincinnati. They have a deal where you can bowl all you want from 7 p.m. to midnight for just, oh, what was the price? $10. Pretty good deal for those who love bowling. So what I decided to do one night, as I did about once a month in college, I decided to spend $10 plus a few more dollars for a Gatorade and maybe something to eat, and I went out to bowl one night. And I was placed, I'd say, in the center of the bowling alley. And, well, for about the first half hour or first whole hour of bowling, everything was great. I was there by myself, and no one had really talked to me or asked me of anything. But then I noticed, to my right, there was someone that I kind of knew in middle school and high school, and he happened to be bowling maybe about five lanes to the right of me. Okay, that was fine. But then there came a point where this person had asked me, Hey, would you um, want to drink some beer? I have at least a half pitcher left. And my response to that was, no, no, I, I, I don't need any. Thank you. I, I kind of said it like that. And this person's response was actually one where he respected my answer. And maybe that was because, you know, at that point we were both in our 20s and I also gave him a no response in a way where I was not, you know, intimidated or shaking, you know, I, I was able to convey it in my voice that I was simply not interested and I did not want this person to keep pushing it on me. So, in that case, it worked out good for me. You know, I, I know, of course, even though I am, well, I was past 21 at that point, and I'm way past that now, I have never been a fan of alcohol or the taste of alcohol, and I, I know what it can do to people. I've seen it in person, and, you know, there are stories out there of how alcohol can impair you, it can make you drive very erratically and run into people, kill people, and hey, even when you're not driving, it can make you say things or do things that are, you know, very bad and destructive, and it can end up very badly for people. So, in that case, you know, I knew what I believed about what I like and dislike. I mean, I, I'm the kind of person who always likes to drink soda, milk, Gatorade, juice, and a glass of water. And alcohol of any kind is definitely not my thing. And of course, I never recommend it to anybody out there. But, you know, in the world that we live in, there are people that we meet, sometimes as early as high school, who will push it onto other high school students. Hey, do you want to go and drink? You know, it can happen, I think, as early as high school and definitely in college and even after college. And... I would highly recommend to everybody out there to stay away from it. You know, just drink something else that does not get you drunk.
and having the courage to say no to not only alcohol, but to other things as well that can destroy your health, things that can very much complicate your life and make your life miserable. You know, having the courage to say no and sometimes walk away from people permanently is a good thing to have. It's a good thing to have that courage to say no to the things that can hurt us. And what I can just say now that I have made it into my 30s and I have finished my 20s, I can honestly say that you can enjoy your 20s, that decade of your 20s, in a really, really fun way without alcohol, without smoking, and without so many other things that can ruin your life or very much complicate your life. There are plenty of fun things to do in this world. You probably already know a lot of what I like to do in life, but if you are new to my channel, I can tell you again, I can tell you here for the first time. You know, I'm a fan of bowling and riding roller coasters and painting and studying music, especially older music. And having the right friends who do not go out and participate in a destructive lifestyle. You know, I'm very thankful for the friends that I have had. Uh, the, the, the friends that I had in college who were mainly friends that I knew from high school, and some of those people I still know today. If you're out there watching this, then you know who you are, and I'm very appreciative of your company. I also very much appreciate those that I've gotten to know through working at Cedar Point, working at Kings Island, and working at Lakeside Chautauqua. I'm, I very much appreciate those who have respected me and I've respected you and we all seem to share a lot of the same values and, you know, we all seem to enjoy our lives in a way that is healthy. We say yes to activities that are fun and have no harm and at the same time we know how to say no to the things that are bad in this world. I do hope that if you are out there and, you know, whether you're about to start high school, if you're in high school, or if you're about to start college, and really for any day, in college or after, that you have the courage for those times when you know someone is asking you to do something wrong. I hope you can find the courage to say no and walk away for good if you need to and to find other people who will not tempt you to do really bad things. I hope I've been able to make my point here and wherever you are in your life, I hope things are going well and, you know, we, we all have stuff to work on. We all do, but I hope that we can all find activities in life that are healthy and whenever we are presented with those times of being tempted with something bad, we can say no. So, thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all the best. Wish you all the best with your, with your lives and your decision-making. 
and thank you very much for listening to what I've had to say in my video today. Thank you.